Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Scarlet, and in today's video, we are building a lovely warthog habitat. But before we get any further along with the video, please make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and give this video a big thumbs up if you have enjoyed. Long break. I mean, I've been on a long break. And I've taken some time to think about what else I'm going to do on Planet Zoo. Obviously, I've got a new series coming out pretty soon uh, involving Planet Zoo. But thinking about Rosa Zoo, I, I've got ideas, big ideas big ideas and I am very stuck on which animals to do with these big ideas because for the next episode obviously it's a prehistoric kingdom episode I'm pretty sure I know what I'm doing with that I mean I'm picking between three dinosaurs three yes three except for the micro raptor is it three Okay, whatever. I'm picking between a very small amount of dinosaurs, so that should be pretty easy to pick out. But for Planet Zoo, there is so much to do, and for the next Planet Zoo episode, I am stuck between two different animals, but now I'm beginning to, like, steer onto one of those ideas rather than the other that would probably be better i'm thinking and you guys have no idea what i'm talking about i'm just talking a little bit um strange right now i'm just talking about all the ideas that i have in my head that you guys are probably thinking what the heck is she talking about? And I would be thinking the same thing if I were watching a YouTube video like that. So I'm going to stop thinking out loud. I'm just going to think in my own time, think in my head, and not make you guys mad at me for just being really annoying about this whole thing. So back to this episode what we are doing here is we are making a sort of barn-ish thing and the roof is something that at first I was extremely extremely unhappy with but then I actually began to like it because I just thought that it was really natural as to what a barny sort of wooden roof might look like. Because it's really messy because I was using the, um, so the climbable log roofs that you get with the climbable animals. And, you know, I just sort of jumbled it around and in the end I began to really like it. So that's what I went and stayed with. You can only see kangaroos there because that is what I was doing with my second cousin. Yeah, we were um, doing kangaroos together. Um, so I'm not planning on doing kangaroos anytime soon unless I get a sudden demand for them. But I'm not um, convinced that that is going to start happening. Mm, you know what, I'm just going to tell you, I'm between proboscis monkey and African penguin for the next Planet Zoo episode. But I'm going to do proboscis monkey for the next Planet Zoo episode and then I think I'll do African penguin because I want to do both of them and I've got great ideas for both of them. But for what I've set up, I think the proboscis monkey will just handle it better. 
because at the end of the video you will see me placing down a path and that is being covered by lots of rocks so that you can't see into the warthog habitat but you can see into the proboscis monkey habitat so you know what that's all about okay hopefully now i can stop talking in a weird code like i was before and we can actually get on with a normal video that's actually really unlike me to just be really mad in a video hmm. strange so for this warthog habitat sometimes i run out of inspiration for the more basic ish animals that you can do things for in planet zoo but for this one i actually had some really really good ideas for what i could be doing so i was super excited to start this habitat and i was filming for a solid 52 minutes in the first part and then i filmed another 26 minutes and then the walkthrough i've got no idea how long that is so in total just doing some math here 52 plus 26 1 hour 18 minutes in total correct me down in the comment section down below if you think or know I'm wrong because I wasn't expecting to do that maths here <sighs> and this is gonna bug me for the rest of the video but I'm just gonna go with it because why not so this video took me a long time to put together because i started it before i went away and i was away for 11 days and then when i came back to it i was really confused about what i had just started and it looked really um basic but it, it actually took a very long time but then I began to like it again. There are lots of things that I was like, oh, I don't like this, or I like this. You know, because I'm a perfectionist, a huge perfectionist. There were lots of things that I liked and didn't like about this. But you know what? It's okay. And I really like those little uh, sticky up bits, which were just letting in light, which were being supported by... <coughs> Sorry the little beams um you know the really skinny little wooden poles that you know the tiny monkeys climb on and i just thought that that was a really good way to let in sunlight and i had had that plan for ages i have no idea where the inspiration came from i know it was inspired by something i wouldn't have just come up with that by myself hmm i'll tell you if i remember it but I was having a huge struggle putting down enrichment because obviously it's quite an enclosed habitat and then you put in the mud bath thing which is obviously a big thing you can't put enrichment near enrichment and you can't put it near barriers so yeah I was having a bit of a tough time but in the end I got everything in just as I wanted it I think except for i could really do with changing the color of uh the rubbing pillar that i put near their little exit or entrance to get inside or to get outside of the barn ish thing i'm gonna call it a barn rather than saying ish thing every time i say it because uh, that will just definitely get really annoying i understand that so yeah as you can see i changed its color and i'm really not liking it it just doesn't fit with me oh and finally the water troughs are working oh no that wasn't actually the one that wasn't working and this was a pain to do i finished it off today actually the day that i edited it and recorded the last 26 minutes so as you can see i left it because i had already been recording for about 40 minutes 50 maybe I honestly don't really... Why was I looking in the Fennec Fox habitat? Sometimes I just travel somewhere and I've got zero idea why I'm doing it after I watch back and do it. But it's okay. 
people are going to move past that really maturely and not wonder for the rest of the day why I was doing that. I do know why I was doing that though, to look back to see for inspiration, for not inspiration but like what plants I had already been using because like as much as I know I like to check to make sure I'm not missing anything because that's the sort of thing that I would do because I'm a I'm a forgetful person Ooh, <laughs> that's when I tried to shortcut and it it didn't work just ended up looking really ugly um so I didn't do that so I just went and did it the proper way I feel like I started to speed up like speed speed up now. Hmm. I wonder why that is. Hmm. Very peculiar. So soon you will be seeing what I mean about the um raised circle shape that's gonna be looking onto the proboscis monkeys. Oh, this is when I do it by hand. This is probably gonna be really boring, so I'm hoping to entertain you with my talking. Although, I could cut it out, but, uh, I started talking, like, part way through it now anyway. Hopefully, it should be speeded up enough for your happiness. This is when I'm bordering off the paths on both sides, and on the other side, I decided to border it off with those little skinny rocks. Um, you know, the... F You'll see them, and I'll point them out. Okay. <laughs> um, and I, I just thought it like when I see other Planet Zoo YouTubers doing it, it always looks. Excuse me. It always looks really effective, and I wanted to incorporate. Oh, this was the biggest waste of time that I did. Anyway. I wanted to incorporate that into my work because I couldn't be bothered to place down all those fences again, firstly. So basically, I'm too lazy to do that. And also, you can't just have that all the time. That just looks really odd, like this does as well. This just. At first, I thought that this would be really effective and cool, and it just ended up, it just ended up looking like the floor had chicken pox. At least I didn't get them twice, like me. Strange. I'm calling everything, like, strange or peculiar or something today. That is really peculiar. Oh, I love it when it does that. Like, when you just go, ooh, these path struggles. I hate watching myself struggle with path. It just brings back bad memories this is the circular place that i why am i moving my hand you can't see me this is the circular place that i am talking about and as you can see when i put the vet on that little circle place platform platform that's it. When I put the vet on that little platform, you can see, I don't know how long you'll be able to see it for, it's like a brief, it's like a brief couple of seconds. See, he can't see, but he can hopefully see the proboscis monkeys also because that's going to be the climb frame, climb, I need to slow down, climbing frame, so hopefully the proboscis monkeys will be up high and he'll be able to see okay the guests will be able to see see this is what i mean oh are they called rock pillars hmm possibly if you do know please feel free to tell me in the comment section down below also before i forget to say i'm very sorry that you are being overloaded with 10 year old giddiness i am really giddy tonight i i, do, I don't know why i i've just been having an incredible 11 days surrounded by 2 plus 2 is 4 4 plus 9 is the surrounded by not that ooh surrounded by 12 children it 
it's it's very hard but it's okay i'm just i'm just really giddy okay so i'm i'm sorry that you're being overloaded with 10 year old giddiness that's really unprofessional of me but i you know i just i'm sorry i can't help it and i'm sorry if you don't like this style of me talking in a really uh hyper way but hopefully it'll be over by next week i'm not going to be posting next sunday because again i am away being surrounded by more kids but like only two more kids this time so hopefully that should be better but you know hopefully you like hopefully you just like my commentary i understand if you don't it's a very um interesting way but we're in the walkthrough now so hopefully i can't be um too hyper i probably can be even more but i'm just gonna try and say what i see so yeah that just looks really clashy and really horrible that rubbing feather but the warhogs look adorable which is on the plus side and i'm loving the fence i just think it looks really cool and effective and I don't know why that plaster pillar is there, I should probably delete that. I didn't actually notice that. But here you can look onto the beautiful view. There is going to be something there, don't worry. Either a habitat or a building or just nature. And I really like how I just sort of covered up the backside of the barn with just lots of foliage. This way you can see the lovely warthogs outside. And then they've got that little... Oh, I didn't show it. I, they've got that little private area over there. So, I'm very happy. You can't see it. You'll be able to see the proboscis monkey. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, despite all of my hyper chatting. I really hope you come to see the next episode where I will hopefully have calmed down and I really hope to see you all in the next video. Bye guys, see you soon.